SMT Nation, what is going on? It's your boy, the SMT. Today, we're going to be talking about a huge Verizon 5G milestone operating a fully virtualized 5G data session using C-Band. Very exciting here. So what we have is an end-to-end fully virtualized in a live network environment testing session indicating you know, the, the commencement of their, their nationwide ultra-wideband 5G data network. So we're totally expecting that launch very soon. Uh, many people uh, have indicated, well, from the company and then other speculation from around the industry, we should see it this year, uh, later on, maybe quarter four or something like that. So the virtualized core is the key to this announcement. Obviously, it's completely cloud native, and the virtualization in 5G is obviously more programmable, more efficient, and scalable. These are the big elements and properties of 5G. The testing being completed across the country in areas like Texas, Connecticut, and Massachusetts show this in the mid-band solutions for Verizon. Uh, Some of the highlights from the testing include the utilization of massive MIMO antenna arrays and radios. Uh, The rest of the hardware was pretty much all industry standard gear. Obviously, the AR, VR use cases, IoT, remote healthcare, the autonomous vehicles and robotics, all going to be a big part of 5G. Latency is a big element of this connectivity. And I think from this particular announcement, one of the things that we should note is that Samsung is the provider of the gear and the vendor software. So C-band compatible massive MIMO radios with the digital dynamic beamforming technologies. For those of you that don't know, beamforming is a technique that um, basically steers radio signals in a directional fashion, uh, kind of intensifies the directional connection it strengthens the signal uh for those transmissions and you know we've been seeing a lot of you know advancements in multi-user mimo as opposed to single user mimo so for those of you that don't know what that is single device connections versus multi-user connections the mu mimo has been something that t-mobile has been utilizing or trying to focus on in their uh in their advancements and in their work Using the beamforming increases connections efficiencies, and you know it makes for a more uh, usable connection and a, a stronger connection. So we're seeing dual connectivity in this testing. Carry aggregation is capable with this gear and the vendor software. Very very exciting. Just completed. Uh, Verizon just completed their C-band, mid-band, and millimeter wave carry aggregation testing. They've got tower site agreements with all of the you know relationships in place. American Tower, Crown Castle. It's all there. Uh, SBA, Ericsson, and Samsung are going to be their contracted providers for their hardware and software solutions, leaving Nokia out. Verizon did confirm earlier in some of their investor days, as well as their media sessions, that the top 46 partial economic areas will be getting A block C band this year. And we're talking about about 60 megahertz of bandwidth, which is a nice copious amount of spectrum 100 million people by q1 2022 will get the c-band in those areas and they will almost double that by 2023 i think they want to have 175 million people with that connection and i think the end game is to get that number up to 250 million people by the end of their b and c block clearance uh which is just a a few years away so uh Man, we're going to get some really nice wide channel bandwidth. A lot of places are going to end up with 160 megahertz, some with 180, and I believe there's some even with 200 megahertz. So that's pretty incredible. SMT takeaways here from this one. We are one step closer to a true advantageous 5G network from Verizon and any carrier for that matter. Uh, T-Mobile's been doing good things in this area. Uh, I know AT&T is working behind closed doors dishes as well and now here's verizon showing their chops one step closer to verizon c-band deployments obviously and huge copious amounts of capacity and speed and you know we're going to see the c-band this is gonna be great expect similar news from dish at&t and maybe some t-mobile stuff pretty soon too they usually follow up with uh similar testing and and other things that are going on in the labs and what's going on in Real world environment. So super exciting. Love to hear what you guys have to say on this. Drop me a line. Comment what you think about the testing. Anything you're excited about. Maybe it's the time frame. Maybe it's the actual technologies being used. Some of it's obviously more advanced, but I think we can all agree the sooner this comes to market, the better it is for the consumer. There's 130 million people 
postpaid users on the Verizon network that could totally use this technology and others soon to follow, right? So we're expecting news out of all the carriers as they advance in their testing and what they're doing with the network. So very excited about this. Go ahead and drop me a line in the comment section below. You all, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. And we're going to hashtag 5G built right. That's Verizon's thing. Hashtag 5G built right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.